Let's say the random variable x follows the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda. Now in order to find the expected value, by definition, this is just equal to the values that x can take on, let's represent that by k, multiplied by each value's corresponding probability. Now for the random variable x, which follows the Poisson distribution, k can range from uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to infinity. So it takes on all these discrete values. So for our case over here, the summation sign, it would range from k equal to 0 all the way to infinity. So it takes on all these discrete values, 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to infinity. So now in order to find the expected value, we just need to evaluate this expression. So the first thing we do is we substitute in the expression for the probability of getting the value k for the random variable x, uh, assuming the Poisson random uh, Poisson distribution, and that would just be e to the power of negative lambda, lambda to the power of k divided by k factorial. So we just need to do a bit of algebra to express uh, to evaluate this expression to get the expected value. So continuing with this expression over here, we can see that first of all, the index starts with k equal to zero. So you see that we have zero multiplied by something for the first term here. So actually, the first term is just equal to zero. So we can actually move this index up and just start by uh, start with k equal to one because the k equal to zero term is just equal to zero and then everything remains the same inside the summation sign. So we have lambda to the power of k divided by k factorial, and then you see that these two terms, they can actually, we can actually combine these two terms. So instead of writing k factorial, we have k minus one factorial. And then also with a bit of rearranging, instead of lambda to, to the power of k, we can write this as lambda to the power of k minus one, and then put, that, uh, put the other lambda term that we've removed from this entire term outside of the summation bracket. So it's just the same thing. I'm just moving one of these lambda terms outside of the summation bracket. And then if you take a look at this term inside, it actually looks very suspiciously like the probability max function for the Poisson distribution. And then we can do a bit of further rearranging by defining k minus 1 as equal to i. So we're defining this new index term i. And then the reason why we're doing this is because I want to shift this summation by one step. So if i is equal to k minus 1, then for k equals to 1, that means i is equal to 0. So instead of writing using the index index value k, I'm going to use the index value i. And then by using this definition, i is going to start with 0, and it goes all the way to infinity. And then for the term inside the summation sign, now k minus 1 is just equal to i. So we have lambda to the power of i divided by i factorial. And then you see that this, this entire term, this is literally just the sum of all the probabilities of the Poisson uh, probability mass function. Now, by definition, the sum of uh, the sum of all probabilities, this is just equal to one. So this entire term is actually just equal to one. Another way to think about this is that we can pull out this e to the power of negative lambda term and then just sum all the terms inside, uh, sum all the remaining terms inside the summation sign. And then you see that this is actually just a Taylor series expansion for e to the power of lambda. So this is just e to the power of negative lambda times e to the power of lambda. So it's just equal to 1. So either way you think about it, it's this entire term is just equal to 1. So we get this whole thing is just equal to lambda. So the expected value of this random variable is just equal to lambda.